In the last video, we talked about how to add icons in the upper right hand portion of your trading cards. Today, we're going to show you how to put those icons within the text box itself. We're going to do that in Nandek using the HTML image and HTML text directives. So let's get started. First, I'm going to go into my visual editor and I'm going to remove this text directive because we're going to be replacing it with the HTML text directive. So I'm going to left click HTML text and make that the size that we want it. So now that I have my HTML text directive made, we're going to link that to the text column on our spreadsheet. I'm going to make it transparent and then confirm. And now I'm going to add a few HTML image directives here. And this is going to allow us to use these images in our HTML text. So similar to the icons, I'm going to add a one for the range. The key is different for the HTML image directive though. For the key, it's not just one letter, it's whatever you want to call the image. To make it simple, I'm going to put fire icon. Just like with the icons, we're going to find them on our computer and copy and paste the file path. So in, in quotations, I'm going to copy and paste the file path and then add the name of the file. For this, for this fire icon, it's just called fire and it's a PNG file, so fire.png. And now it should be showing up that it found it on my computer. I'm gonna close those quotation marks. The width is defaulting to one inch by one inch. I'm going to make these 0.2 by 0.2 inches. And the, these are inches because I have my unit set to inches up here. You can hit F1 to, to get the help pulled up for the current directive you're on. So for this, I'm going to look and see what flags I want to set. I would like proportional and that looks good for now. I'm going to make these proportional so I can either just type in a P here or I can actually uh, click it down here in this box to the bottom right. Now that I have that set up, I'm going to add two more images and find them on my computer. I want to point out that these what you name them here in the key is very important. So I wouldn't want to just put fire or something that I would normally type in the text box. Because whenever I type the word fire icon, it's going to actually show the fire icon instead of the words fire icon. So if I just made this, for this one I'm going to put in the mana icon, but if I were to just name it mana, Every time I wrote the word mana in my HTML text, this image would pop up and not this string of text mana, M-A-N-A. -A. So I want, want to name this something that I wouldn't normally type. I'm also going to add a health icon. Now I have all three of my images that I'm going to use, my HTML images that I'm going to use with my HTML text. So when I go back to my Excel sheet, for the troll, if I want him to do fire damage, I can say deal to fire icon fire damage. So what this is going to do is say deal to, and then it's going to show the actual fire icon because this is the key that I have set up. And then it's going to say the words fire damage next to that. Let's see if it's working properly in Nandek. So I right click to validate this, but notice it's not showing up. And that's because I forgot to save my spreadsheet. So I saved my spreadsheet and now I'm going to go back to Dandek and try it again, right click validate. And now there it is. Deal two and then the fire icon, fire damage. So that's how you add the icons within your text. So I don't actually know a whole lot about HTML, but I know enough to, to, to get by with, with what I'm showing you here. If you want to, learn more of what you can do with HTML. There's a lot of good resources that you can just Google HTML and find stuff like the W3 schools. And one thing, one resource that I found helpful on this W3 schools is the HTML formatting. And it shows you different commands that you can input to get something like bold text or italic text. So I'm going to show you how to do that in your spreadsheet real quick. Let's say that we want to make the word damage here bold. Because we made this HTML text in Nandek, now we can use HTML elements in this text here on our spreadsheet and do that. So to make this text bold in, 
HTML, I'm going to make this larger so you can see. Anything that I want to make bold, before it I put greater than, b less than, and then whatever I want to make bold. And then I close that off with saying, okay, this is the end of what I want to make bold by doing greater than forward slash b less than. I'm going to save that, validate, and now the word damage is bold. Let's see what else we can do with HTML. So I just changed the magician, and now the magician is going to give one spell token to target friendly player. Now notice it's going to say give one spell token, and then the word mana icon is going to be replaced with the mana symbol. In this case, it's going to be represent a spell token to target friendly player. So I'm going to save that in my spreadsheet, go back to Nandek, validate the deck, and now it's saying give one spell token, and then the word mana icon is replaced with the actual symbol to target friendly player. So that's working good. Now let's say I want to add some flavor text below this, and I want to separate the top of the text with the flavor text at the bottom with a horizontal rule. Let me show you how to do that. In my Excel sheet, I'm going to add an HR or horizontal rule, and that's how you add a, a horizontal rule in HTML text. And then for my flavor text, I want to say magicians are amazing. I didn't think much about that flavor text, but <laughs> just showing you how it will look. And I want this to be in italics, so I'm going to, everything in italics that I want, I'm going to close in, in italics with the element i. So greater than i, less than i here. And then to end the italics, I'm going to do greater than forward slash i less than, like this. Save that, go back to Nandek, right click, and now I should have my flavor text at the bottom separated by the horizontal rule here. And this horizontal rule is just going from the far left to the far right. Now notice that this text is kind of a little bit off to the side. It's, it, my text box is a little too big, so let's fix that real quick in the visual editor. This is looking better. I'm going to confirm, and I can validate and build it. And now the cards are looking better here. Real quick, for those of you looking for card templates and icons like you see in this video, I've put together a post on StreamlineGaming.com called How to Make a Board Game Prototype. In this post, I talk about various places on the internet to get both free and paid for artwork for your very own games. Streamline Gaming also has a free artwork pack available for download as well as premium icons and premium card templates. I will leave links in the description below for all of those so you can check them out yourself. Now, back to the video. I'm going to make the helper really neat. I'm going to show you how to use a list of items here. I'm going to remove his text. The helper is going to be a very versatile card. So we're going to give him some choose options. So, and now I'm going to create a unordered list, which is basically a bullet point list here. So UL for unordered list. Now for each item in my list, I'm going to create LI. So I need to create an LI element. And for the first one, I'm going to say heal to heal icon damage. So this is getting a little bit confusing here, but it will make sense. And then I'm going to close that list item off. I'm going to start typing up here so you can see it better. And then I'm going to create another list item that says deal one fire icon fire damage and close that list item off. And for the third list item, I said create one spell token mana icon for yourself. So this will look a lot like what the magician said. Now to close off this unordered list or UL, we're going to do greater than forward slash UL less than. Let's save this and see what this string of text is now showing us in HTML. I'm going to sa I saved my spreadsheet. Now I'm going to right click and let's go to the helper. So I'm going to preview this. Now we can't see all of it, but this is what an unordered list looks like. The third list item is cut off because the text box is too large. But it says choose one of the following and then we have our unordered list here. 
First list item, heal two, heal icon, damage. Now, I named the key health icon and not heal icon, so that's why it's not showing me the heal icon. I need to fix that. Let's fix it. So over here, instead of heal icon, I need health icon. So now I save that in my spreadsheet, and I'm going to go back to Nandek, right-click to build and validate, and now it's working. Heal two, health icon damage. Deal one, fire icon, fire damage. And then our text is too big, so it can't see the third list item. So let's fix that. Remember how we could do this font and change the text below it? For example, this font is, is changing this text below it, if you remember that from the previous tutorial. But because we're using HTML text, we have to use HTML font. So let's go back into our visual editor and add an HTML font. I'm going to drag the, the HTML font above the HTML text, right click, and now I want our font size to be, let's say, 10. I want this to be fairly small. For the tag, you could name this whatever you want, but you're going to use this word in your HTML text to say, I want this HTML font to be used in the following HTML text. This will make sense in a second. We'll, we'll keep this as font name. So I'm going to confirm this. And now back in my spreadsheet, this helper text is way too long for the size of the box. So for this whole string of text, this whole HTML text here, I'm going to do greater than font name, because that's what we named the font, and then less than font name at the end. I'm going to save that, and now it should be using that HTML font. So now it looks like it made it slightly smaller. I'm going to make it even smaller because I still can't see all of my text here right click to validate and build. So if you notice the list items are not being changed. It's only the first line and I'm not exactly sure why. The HTML font that I put in was only affecting things outside of the list items. And I found that you can add this style equals font size into your list item. So I went in and did that for each of my list items. Instead of just LI and then closing it off, immediately I put in this style and told it to make the font size for this list item 9 pixels. And I did that for each of my list items. HTML text gets very confusing for me very fast. Like this isn't too much to take in after you, you kind of figure it out and you just start copy pasting. But for me, using HTML text is way more difficult than just using the regular text. But if you want to add in icons and make it look different, make it look neat, this is how you would do it. So let's look at what this, what this looks like now in Nandek. I'm going to right click validate. And now this choose one of the following. This, this should be the size of the font name that we created, the HTML font named font name. And then the list items should have what we wrote in the spreadsheet along with them being nine pixels large. The, the text should be nine pixels large and it looks like that is working correctly. Now my HTML images here are still the 0.2 inches by 0.2 inches as I set. This should kind of give you an idea of several things that you can do with HTML text used with HTML image with your spreadsheet. We talked about the troll card. We showed you how to do the, the actual icon within the text along with the bold text. And then the magician, we talked about how to create this horizontal rule along with text in italics. And then finally, we did the kind of more most confusing part of the tutorial, which was create the list of items. So thanks for watching today. Good luck making your game and uh, let me know if you have any more questions. I'll try to cover them in a future video. Thanks.